Hello and welcome to Katari. In this video, we'll be learning the definition of a fraction and we'll be doing an interesting activity about identifying a fraction and writing a fraction. Before we go into the activity, first let's look at what is a fraction. We've all heard about half litre milk and quarter teaspoon salt. The half and quarter here are nothing but fractions. Let's take a biscuit. This is one whole of a biscuit. Suppose I break it into two parts. Here I have two equal parts of the same biscuit. Suppose I take one part and give the other part to my brother. So which is the part which I have? It is nothing but half of the biscuit. How can I write this using numbers? I can write it as 1 that is the number of parts which I have and 2 these are the total number of parts. This is read as 1 by 2. Here 1 which is on top is called the numerator and the number which is below is called the denominator. Now let's move on to the activity. For this we need a piece of paper and some color pencils. First we'll cut the paper into six strips of equal size. Then let's take the first strip. This represents one whole. Let's take the next strip of paper. Let's fold it in the center. We get two equal parts. Let's shade one part. What fraction does this shaded part represent? Let's write it down. The total number of parts is 2. So the denominator is 2 and the number of shaded parts is 1. So the numerator is 1. So 1 by 2 or half is the fraction which is selected here. So how many halves make up a whole? Did you say 2? Yes, that's right. Moving on, let's take the next strip. This is a bit tricky. So the teachers are advised to help the students. We are going to fold it into three parts. So we fold it like this and try to make sure that all the parts are equal. Now we have three parts and we are going to shade one part. So what fraction does this shaded part represent? As a convention, we will always write the denominator first, which is the total number of parts here. The total number of parts is three and the number of shaded parts is one. So this fraction is one by three or one third. So how many one thirds make up one whole? Did you say three? Yes, that's right. Let's take the next strip. We are going to fold this into four equal parts and shade one part. What fraction does this shaded part represent? Let's write down. The total number of parts is four and the number of shaded parts is one. This is one fourth or fourth. So how many fourths make up a whole? Yes, four fourths make up one whole. Let's take the next strip. Here we are going to fold it into six equal parts. For this, first we will fold it into three equal parts and then fold it in the center to get six parts. Now let's shade one part. Now what is the fraction associated with this shaded part? Let's write down. The total number of parts is six and the number of shaded parts is one. So this is one by six or one sixth. Let's move on to the next one. Now we are going to divide the paper into eight equal parts. So first we make four equal parts and then fold it in the center. And we are going to shade one part. So what fraction does this shaded portion represent? Let's write down the total number of parts is eight. And the number of shaded parts is one. So this is 1 by 8 or 8. Similarly, can you take a strip of paper and represent 1 by 9 and 1 by 12? To recap, a fraction is part of a whole and can be represented as numerator by denominator. Thank you for watching and watch this space for more interesting activities.